In this video, I'm going to talk about the three rays that are critical for us to do the ray diagram in order to locate the image. But before we go through that, let's go through some basic concept. This horizontal black color line will be known as the principal axis and the converging lens here, also known as convex lens. This is the center of the lens known as optical center. And this point here, F, is known as focal point for this lens and the distance from optical center to the focal point that distance will be known as the focal length of this lens so what's the focal length for this case take a look at the scale here two small squares will be 50 mm so here will be 50 100 125 mm or 12.5 cm if here is f another 125 which is at this point 250 here that will be 2f, 2 times the focal length, then 3 times 3f, etc. And because it's symmetrical lens that we are talking about, so on the right hand side it will be the same f followed by 2f over here. Now let's talk about the three rays that you can see on the diagram here. Are they only three rays? The answer is no. Let's consider this object AB. When light shines on this object, it will reflect light in all direction, infinite rays. Okay, let's consider the tip of the object here. When light shines here, it will reflect light in all direction. Or you can treat this as a light in the lab, the torch light with a cross wire. There are infinite rays coming out. So why do we draw this three ray? Because they have rules to follow. Because of this rule, we know exactly how to draw and we'll be able to locate the image. Now let's consider the first ray, okay, which is the purple ray. If a light ray from the tip of the object were to be parallel to the principal axis, which is the black color line here, horizontal line, after passing through the lens, the light will bend because of refraction and it must pass through focal point. That is the rule. So you just continue to go straight Next, the second ray that I'm going to draw, it will be the blue color. So if it comes out in this way and passes through the optical center, you just need to draw it straight without any bending and then pass through here. So from here, you will have an intersection point that will be the tip of the image and that will be the position of your image A prime B prime. Okay, now. Let's talk about the third ray, which is the green color ray, which is actually the opposite of the purple. So instead, if a light ray were to pass through the focal point first, it will just continue to go straight. After passing through the lens because of refraction, it will be parallel to the principal axis and you will converge to this point also. But usually we just need to draw the purple and the blue in order to locate the intersection point. Two is enough. Now what does it mean here? So all the light rays that are from the tip of the object now will fall nicely at this point here, the tip of the image. So that means to say if my screen is at this position right now, you can imagine there are multiple images of the tip of the image here, here and here, but they are not aligned. That's why you have a blur image. So if I were to shift the screen nearer, okay, so somehow it's getting sharper and until here, if your screen is exactly at this point here, you will form a sharp image on the screen. So it will be real because it can be captured on the screen and it's inverted as you can see here and if you continue to shift the screen forward once again the image will become blur okay so that's how you get the sharp image now you might be wondering what if i shift the position of the object so let me show you as long as more than f as you shift the three rays the rules will still apply so it doesn't doesn't matter where is the position of the object but how about if the object is less than one focal length as you can see here okay so likewise as previous if the light ray is parallel to principal axis 
after passing through the lens it will bend and it must pass through focal point and then for the blue one after passing through the optical center it will just go straight without bending but this is a bit different from the previous one because these two rays they will never converge to a point unlike previously as you can see here so instead you will you can draw dotted line backwards okay this virtual rays to locate the image which we'll cover later on but what i need you to take note now is the two rays the rules they are still the same 